Good morning, my name is Susan Bevan. I'm Head of Product Development at NRS Healthcare. I'm here to talk to you about the Seahorse Toileting and Showering Chair. The Seahorse is a product designed for disabled children and young adults. It's available in three sizes, a small, a medium and a large. The small is designed for children of an age between about five and nine years. It has a weight limit of 64 kilos, which is 10 stone. The medium is designed for children between the age of about 9 years and 13 to 14 years, has a weight limit of 102 kilos, which is 16 stone. And the large is designed for children of the age of about 13 to 14 upwards, and it's also suitable for young adults. It has a weight limit of 152 kilos, which is 24 stone. The seahorse comes with liners. The liners are actually an optional extra, so this is the seat liner and this is the back liner. You just push into place. The liners are optional because they're available in different thicknesses. So this pair of liners you see here is the thin liner, but it's also available as a thick liner as well. The reason for that is that the liners can be sized to suit the child as the child grows. So for example, if you buy a seahorse small, you'd start off with the thick liners for a very small child, and then as the child grows, you'd then replace the liners with the thin liners. Then when the child outgrows the seahorse small, you'd go to a seahorse medium, and you'd fit the thick liners, and then as the child grows, you'd then fit the thin liners. You'd then move to a seahorse large, and at which point you'd actually fit the extra thick liners which are available on the seahorse large. Then you'd go to the thick liners and then you'd go to the thin liners. So you have a product that will grow as the child grows and it will take a child from the age of five right through to adulthood through three, di three different models of seahorse and seven different sizes of liner. Starting at the bottom of the chair, we have four lockable casters. They lock by pressing the brake down like so. Then at the front of the chair you have two foot plates. The foot plates are height adjustable by removing this pin and raising the foot plate up and down and putting the pin back in. The foot plates can flip up by pressing this silver button. That flips the foot plate up locks in place. It has a flexible heel guard and they have straps to locate the user's feet. Moving on to the side of the chair, the seahorse is height adjustable. So you can adjust the height of the chair by removing this clip, then doing the same on the other side and then lifting the chair up to the required height and putting the clips back in. This is the seahorse in the highest position, so we've removed the clips, we've raised the seahorse up to the highest position, so it's at 100 mil higher than at the lowest position. At the back of the seahorse you'll notice that there is a clip and there is a potty. The potty is included as standard. To remove the potty, pull the clip out, and there is your potty. It's a large capacity potty which can obviously be emptied over a toilet. You'll notice then that the seahorse can be located directly over a toilet, so if you don't want to use a potty, you can just pull the seahorse back over a toilet pan, and there's now sufficient clearance between the floor um, and the uh, bottom of the seahorse to accommodate a standard toilet. It will also accommodate a self-flushing toilet like a Geberit or a Closimat toilet. The seahorse includes a tilt in space function which allows you to tilt the chair through 40 degrees which is particularly useful in the case of showering. It operates by two gas springs, there's one gas spring on either side of the chair. They're operated by a hydraulic cable to these two buttons at the back of the chair. To operate it you have to press both buttons in and then push down on the handle and that will give you up to 40 degrees tilt in space. The seahorse small is different to the seahorse medium and large in that it only has one gas spring and only has one button. 
The seahorse includes other accessories. So as standard, you have a uh, pommel, which includes a splash guard at the front. That slots in like so at the front of the chair. The pommel also has an additional function that it helps secure the liner. So once the pommel is in place, the liner is secured and it can't pull out of the chair. The seahorse includes armrests as standard. So um, this is the armrest on the right side of the chair. The armrest is removable. And it includes an optional anterior support which can be purchased if a user needs additional support when they're toileting. That fits in place of the armrest, like so. The seahorse also includes a standard a lap strap. This is the lap strap. The lap strap comes in sizes small, medium and large to suit the size of the chair. So a small seahorse will come with a small lap strap, medium seahorse with a medium lap strap and so on. The lap strap fits to the chair by taking the two ends of the strap, pushing them through the hole in the seat liner. you can see it secures like so at the back. The lap strap is length adjustable, so you can adjust the length of the lap strap on the toggle on either side. And you can also tighten it at the front on the two D-shaped pulls. It has a buckle, a central buckle, to un undo and fasten around the user. In addition, the seahorse is available with a harness. This is an optional extra. It's available with two different types of harness. The one that you see here is a chest harness, and the chest harness has a central buckle, like so. And there's also a butterfly harness, which is designed for female users. The harness fits by pushing the bottom buckle through the backrest. So, and then pushing the two straps through the top. And locking off on the cam at the back of the chair. The seahorse also includes a headrest, a standard. The headrest is height adjustable by undoing this knob and raising the height up and down. It's also depth adjustable by undoing the top knob and sliding forward and backward and it can be rotated left and right. The headrest is particularly important when the chair is tilted because it obviously supports the head, stops the head rolling over the back of the chair and provides extra comfort to the user. So in summary, the seahorse is available in three sizes, small, medium and large. It's available with liners which are available in seven sizes, a thick and a thin for the small, a thick and a thin for the medium, an extra thick, a thick and a thin for the large. The liners have to be bought separately because you have to choose them to suit the size of the user. 
As standard, it includes all the features I've shown, so the foot rests, the arm rests, the pommel, the head rest, and the lap belt. The optional extra features is the chest harness, which you see here, the butterfly harness, and the anterior support. In addition, the seahorse is supplied with a range of spares, so all of the critical components, so the casters, the foot rests, the arm rests, the head rest, the tilting space mechanism which incorporates the gas spring and the button at the top, and the liners and the pommel are all available as spare parts. So if any of the parts get damaged in use, then they're replaceable. Likewise, all the foam-based parts like the pommel and the liners are wearable items. So because they're made out of foam, they can get damaged in use, especially if the user is quite active. And therefore, if they do get damaged, they're easily replaced. The Seahorse includes a 12-month warranty on all the mechanical components. The only parts that aren't covered by a warranty are the liners and the pommel because as I mentioned, they're wearable, they can get damaged by the user.